This is Mitchell from Gamefront, and this is L.A. Noir. This video walkthrough will be covering the 12th story mission of the game, the Studio Secretary Moon. we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring and matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. Forty-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. Another body and Deirdre Muller's ring. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Yeah, anyone can pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators... Cole, oh, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's ground team. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. American Century Broadcasting. Broadcasting at 760. How can I help you boys? Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Mark here. Maker's Mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Does this mark mean anything? All mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. could have the local trooper check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. Kirk is having fun with us. 
guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. If the Dahlia letters are genuine, then the man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Muller. And how do we prove that, Phelps? Skipper ain't gonna like this one. Man. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. I got a little too banged up on the way over here and got a little bit lost. So let's just get right to the end. Hard, isn't it? Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. Hey, can you give me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have. Thank you. You can go now. First thing to do after talking to Nelson Gaines is to learn about the victim. Talk to the coroner before starting your investigation. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age. Lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing. At least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. Blood splatter on the carriage. She must have been struck while standing up. Once again, we have blunt trauma to the head, strangulation marks, and a missing smell. Eye. Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Now make sure to examine all three items on the mat to make sure you have all the clues. We could go over to the lot and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. for personal items, not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. Finally, we can interview this creepy guy. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, 
I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against beating it. like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Classic Carmine. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. I don't know why he's posing like Superman. Maybe he thinks that Superman doesn't tell lies. Whatever the case, he's not lying here. Did you take any money? It wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick and her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Obvious lie here. Doubt him. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I can tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Clyde, you get this sack of shit into a cell, I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. You're almost done here. Use the phone to call dispatch to find out where Levine's liquor store is. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor. Close the store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks for watching our video walkthrough for L.A. Noir. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Gamefront for more L.A. Noir and much, much more.